this is groundbreaking stuff. It's a lot of stuff that we already knew was happening, but to hear the story firsthand uh, should be incredibly valuable to us all. Hope that we can all learn something here tonight and, uh, and, and get fired up about exposing the indoctrination that is occurring in the school districts across America. Wait until you guys hear this story. We're going to bring in Kiki right now. Welcome in. Welcome back to the show, Kiki. It's great to see you again. Great to have you on and appreciate great to your time. Be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me again. I'm honored as always. Absolutely. No, the pleasure is mine. So uh, first and foremost, how are you? How are things? And I let's let's dive right into this story. Tease us a little bit and then I'll play your video for you. Um, I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a little discouraged with all of this. It's really hard to go up against a school like you, like you said, um, they are teaching sex ed and actually it's not even called sex ed anymore. They call it health class in my school, um, with my fifth grade daughter, just material that, like you said, we are not for, I'm not for teaching children how to do certain sexual things. Uh, and they are trying to start at a younger and younger age. Fifth grade is just not where it's at. Yeah, no, I agree. It's way too young. So tell us a little bit how this, how did this start? Did you know that this was going to be offered in fifth grade? Did your daughter just come home with a notice? How exactly were you made aware that this was going to occur? Yes. So they sent home a permission slip and I feel like it's very deceiving because a lot of parents will just look at the permission slip, sign it, send it back and be like, all right, good to go. Uh, no big deal. So the permission slip said they will be involved in health class. Um, it had a link to the syllabus. It said sign date. There was no opt out option. That's all it said. Sign date and send back. So I took it, looked at the syllabus, went to the website that they said they were going to be using, which is amaze.org and amazejunior.org. And I was looking at the videos and I'm like, um, no, my daughter is not going to be watching any of these videos. There's trans, there's uh, gender ideology, there's masturbation. I mean, they have the things of the puberty and the period and all of that, but there's other things that are in there. You know, sex ed isn't like it was when we were younger, where it's just the period and the boobs and those things. They're trying to do the gender ideology on top of all of it. It's 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 indoctrination uh, by definition. So let's play a little bit of your video here. Um, a couple of accounts picked up your video and it's, <laughs> it's really been trending. I mean, this thing has gone nuclear. This post has a couple of hundred thousand views uh, already. So guys, wait until you see this video. Uh, but this will provide some reference or insight as to what Kiki is going through as a concerned mother right now. Parents, this video is for you. It is imperative that we pay attention to what is going on in our schools. I got a permission slip recently from my daughter's school, and we live in a fairly conservative area next to Akron, Ohio. The permission slip was for her to attend health class. Mind you, she is in fifth grade. It had the syllabus on there and a link to show you what material she will be learning. I did some research, and you will be astounded, oh my gosh, blown away by what they are trying to teach my fifth grader. Watch this video. It is absolutely disgusting. Yes, yes, come on, yes, oh yes. Aha, uh -huh. what are you doing there? You've had an apple one day. You'll go blind. I'm coming. How many times is too many to masturbate in one day? Hashtag ask amaze. There's no limit on the number of times a person can masturbate each day. I have another question. Sometimes my penis stands up in the air and it feels good when I touch it. When your penis stands up, it's called an erection. Girls also have a private part that they may want to touch because it feels nice. The clitoris. It's okay. Mind you, I'm reminding you, the video is for fifth graders. And we on the right are saying that the left is trying to over sexualize our children. This is exactly what we're talking about. And they want to gaslight us and pretend that it's not happening. 
So Kiki, I want to pause it for just yeah. a second because that material uh, is probably going to come off as very shocking, polarizing, graphic to adults watching this right now. I know my grandmother watches this show. My grandma watches my show every night. She is probably looking at that appalled right now saying, honey, why would you show that? And grandma, I love you and I'm sorry I had to play that, but it is very important that the public is aware. Yes. This is what they're, t how old are, is, is a fifth grader? 10. 10 years yes. old. So yes. Keith, your initial reaction, uh, I assume you brought this to, to your husband. What, as a couple, I mean, and I don't mean to ask, you know, to get into your business, but for yeah. parents that might be going through the same thing, could you help mm -hmm. them with an approach? Oh yeah. So, I mean, me and my husband are on board. We're on the same uh, standard as far as our values go for what we plan on teaching our children. So he definitely was just as appalled as you are. I mean, my grandma would have been just as appalled as well. I mean, I think, I feel like any person left or right, you should look at that video and be appalled. It just blows my mind that it's in, it's like not a, a bipartisan issue that everybody can just be on board with. But Nonetheless, um, he said, you know, we need to speak to the school and understand exactly what is going on. So I emailed the health teacher because he had his email on the paper. I emailed him on September 3rd 